There we go. You're going to be the best big sisters, are you? Are you excited? Both of you. You're going to look after your, your baby brother? Baby your, sister. Baby sister? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna go to sleep now. It's bedtime? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know what's happening tomorrow? Yeah. The baby's gonna come. Baby's gonna come. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you gonna have a baby? Yeah. What's in mommy's belly? It's a baby. It's a baby. So mommy's gonna go to the hospital tomorrow. I'm gonna see the doctor. Okay. And the doctor's gonna take the baby out of my belly. My house. My, whose house? My house. Yeah, the baby's going to come to your house. Okay. Yeah, but mummy's going to go to the doctor mm -hmm. and the doctor's going to take the baby out of mummy's belly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to see the baby? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to look after the baby? Yeah. What are you going to do to the baby? Bim, 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 bim. See? Oh, when they listen to the baby? Yes, it's Baby. Yeah, they're gonna listen to the baby, yeah. but the baby's not gonna be in mummy's belly anymore. Huh? The baby's not gonna be in mummy's belly anymore. Mm. Are you gonna feed the baby? Yeah. Mm. Are you gonna hug the baby? Yeah. What else are you gonna do? Be baby. Yeah, and you have to be careful with the baby. Yeah. Hey everyone, good morning. It is six o'clock on the eighth of February. It's Monday. It is freezing outside when I tell you all the cars are literally frozen over. Um, obviously it was snowing recently, but we had to be up early because baby's coming today. Um, I'm booked in for a cesarean, so we are literally making our way and um, we're gonna leave to head off to the hospital soon. So wish me luck. It is cold. It's gonna defrost this car quickly. How are you feeling? I'm tired. You're tired? Um, it's pretty right. early morning, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't sleep. But you can't even hear me? Huh? No, just took off my mask. I was thinking they can't hear me. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired as well. I'm tired as well. I'm tired. Well. Yeah. Like, just hear baby's cry. Are you ready? Daddy for the third time. Do you know what you say? You say third time, mm. but it's, it's actually the second time technically. <laughs> it might, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, it depends. Mm. Like you have, you have twins. Yeah. Yeah. Only the two in one 
and then it's like one pregnancy. It's one, do you know what I mean? It's it's like one pregnancy, pregnancy but two babies. So but it's, it's like, like three, it's three children. Uh, yeah, three children. Mm. Two different times. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a weird one. It is. Yeah. 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 So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Just want it to be open, don't worry, I'm tired. This is the, this is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm what, 40 plus five? So, literally overdue, baby didn't want to come out by herself, so doctors have said it's time to have a cesarean, um, which is a shame, but ultimately it's whatever's you know, best for this baby, and yeah, we'll bring the baby out into the world, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just gone half past three. Um, I've been here since seven o'clock, and they've just told me that they might, well, they're most likely going to cancel my cesarean. So they've had so many sort of emergency cases coming in, and they've had to sort of like push back, push back. They had to cancel someone else's C section. Um, and now after waiting all this time and even sticking a drip in um, they're saying I might have to go home and with all the juggling around they may not even be able to slot me in for tomorrow so I'm just kind of a bit pissed off really um, I'll let you guys know what happens morning guys so take two this is our second time going to the hospital it is now what 6 39 and we're literally just on our way say good morning what's going on <laughs> i mean obviously the other day was pretty um disappointing it was pretty, pretty frustrating um obviously there are going to be emergencies and you know they always are going to you know come first and take priority um, but we're kind of over that now and we are thinking more positively um, so yes we are on our way to have a baby so I'm feeling pretty positive this morning pretty optimistic and I'm really looking forward to how things are gonna go um, I must say I am starving so I had a nice big meal last night which is about probably like nine o'clock and then obviously I had all my um, medication that I need to take before today but literally I had to be nil by mouth again since midnight so I have not really I had water last night but I haven't actually eaten anything since about nine o'clock so this morning whilst my husband's there eating his breakfast I'm just staring at him like I'm starving mate <laughs> Do you want to share? <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, man. <laughs> it would be nice for you to share, but obviously, circumstances. Um, I'm just hoping that obviously this morning I don't get kept waiting too long because I think obviously when you wait around to sort of have any kind of operation, to be honest, I think it's gonna be quite nerve wracking. It can just, you know, make you feel really anxious, and it's literally just the waiting around that, you know. <laughs> makes you more nervous and just puts you off uh, but I am I'm excited I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how things are gonna go this morning I mean has anyone else sort of experienced going to the hospital and having to wait around for like hours nil by mouth you are starving you are hungry I don't know if any one of you guys have experienced that but let me know in the comments down below Thanks, mate. <laughs> it's a trick. This is a little trick <laughs> that the midwife taught us. Put that over the foot first. <laughs> I like to stretch it out. Get tight. Gosh, look at my legs. Huh? My legs. Pretty glad I haven't got any swelling though, actually. 
I had swelling in the last pregnancy. Oh, not this one. Slack on it. Look at that. <laughs> Old woman stuck in. Look at that. Well done. If only you could uh, wait on me like this every day. Huh? <laughs> I said, if only you could wait on me and for every day. This person that comes once and another once a year. You know. <laughs> so we are back again. I don't think I told you guys, so I'm actually 41 weeks exactly today. And honestly, this baby was giving me stress all last night the tightenings i don't know if they were even contractions but they were much more painful than before and um i mean like, they weren't regular but when they were coming it was like okay either this baby has to come out naturally or we are going to our appointment today <laughs> so yeah 41 weeks exactly and we'll be waiting we were making some estimates weren't we mm -hmm. so we were trying to guess the weight of the baby we thought we'd have a little competition and guess the weight of the baby yeah go on what did you say you know what it's been a couple of days now so i feel don't like try I, have, it. No. I have to eat don't try it don't try it i knew he's gonna I do think... that i knew he's gonna do that don't i try feel it. like i have to increase the weight now what about two days well, you never it's know like 24 hours Listen, yeah, you never know you never know anyways i guessed what did i guess Seven pounds, nine. seven pounds nine. You said seven nine. So you're trying to change it. I'm not, I'm not trying brain. to change nothing. I'm trying to say you don't remember now. <laughs> I'm not trying to change anything. I said seven nine. And I you said, said seven and a half. Seven and a half. And so that's like three ounces in between. Yeah, that's and not then. a lot, is it? It's not a lot. So you're going to change it to me? I'm not changing it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually. No, you're not changing it. I mean, she feels, she, she feels like a big baby. So I'm thinking like almost eight pounds. So you're adding on an extra, what, three ounces as well? That's like... Listen, okay, you know, I'm going to leave it at 7.9 because it's still higher than 7... What did you say? 7.5? Seven 7.5. Seven so 7.6. Seven, seven, I don't even know how, how many ounces. <laughs> wow. Listen, my, babe, my baby brain is gone. Like, I don't even know how many ounces in, in a pound. So anyways, um, and don't even get me started on all this... Uh, 2,000 kilograms, whatever, business. I can't calculate baby's weight, so. We're going about pounds and ounces. Yeah. Yeah, pounds and ounces. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you're saying seven nine. Yeah. I'm saying seven six. All right. So, Let the yeah. war begin. What's the forfeit? You have to change the first nappy. I'm saying you, because <laughs> you... I know that I'm going to win. <laughs> But well, you know the worst thing is like, either way, I'm gonna have to change the nappy anyway. Yeah, because but the you first, might not be able to move. The first nappy is the dangerous one. That's with the meconium. <laughs> That's the <little> black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He doesn't know what he's in for. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, and if, if I win? If you win, I'll change the first nappy. Oh, so it's nappy change. I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> I'm gonna even be here. Says so cut off because I've got to leave. Depending on the time, anyway. So yeah. You know what? Actually, I I do feel grateful um, because obviously with the slight change of the rules um, after this whole sort of COVID situation, obviously my husband's been allowed in from the beginning, so he's going to be here with me up until after the cesarean, and then. Um, I think obviously he'll stay with me through recovery then he'll leave and then come back during visiting times mm -hmm. so i mean that is much better than i could have asked for um at least I mean, he's going to be around yeah considering i weren't able to come to any of the scans exactly exactly yeah they so, couldn't stop me from coming today no hell no <laughs> there'll be war there so, will be yeah. war um yeah we'll see how it goes but i think i'm gonna win have actually remember the rule that we set so oh, it has to is, is, no 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 oh, because in, in terms of who wins as well so if it's one above or one below i either way the person wins right that's what we said 
mean? No, listen. That's, so you, no, no, no. no. I, we discussed. You said you said seven six. So I'm saying seven and a half, which is seven six. You're saying seven nine. Yeah. Now, the rule is, okay. Say rule. She's gonna try to change it. Rule is, if it's seven seven mm-hmm. or seven Obviously five, you would win. Yeah. I win. Yeah. However, if it's seven eight, eight. or seven ten, yeah, she wins. So what if so, it's seven seven? What? I win. Why? Because my one is seven six. That's what I just oh, okay, said. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it makes See, sense. See, baby brain. <laughs> I just said this. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Deal. Deal. <laughs> hey, so I'm about to go in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Just wait. It's nerve wracking, but I'm excited. And it's like, even though I've done it before, it's this is a whole new experience. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, but all the staff so far, they've been so nice. They've been so lovely. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. Yo, what's going on guys? Manny here, Hazel's husband. Just thought I'd do a little quick video. Um, Hazel's gone in now. Obviously, they've gone to get her all prepped up for the for the surgery, and I'm just waiting outside. New risk um, pre- um, precautions. Precautions, obviously, to minimise risk. I've got to wait until they're ready. Obviously, for me to then come in, then they'll let me in. Literally, as the surgery is about to commence. So yeah, um, I'm excited. Got interrupted trying to do a video in the corridor. So I am excited. I can't wait. It's a little bit nerve-wracking as you guys can imagine but yeah um obviously after coming here the other day being sent home and to have to come back uh can't be excited enough so i just basically want this thing to be over um i think because of their new visiting times um, regulations once the surgery is done once the baby is done i can only stay i think for like half an hour to an hour then i've got to go home and then come back between the visiting times for me, the only downside is it's only going to last for two hours. The visiting times in comparison to when it used to be four hours, but it's unprecedented times. Things are different at the moment, so we just got to go with it. But yeah, uh, we'll keep you guys informed once the baby is here. And uh, yeah, can't wait, man. Just taking a blood pressure. Just a few minutes and then you come. Do you want to see the baby? She's not crying because she's resting. She's sleeping. Can't hear you. She can't she hear you. She can't hear you. She's sleeping. Because she's sleeping. That's all. Do you want to come in? Come. Girls, come. Mommy. Yeah. Can't hear you. That's okay. Look. 
She's so small, isn't she? This small. <laughs> you need to go to the doctor? Yeah, I finished going to the doctor. Baby's not in my belly anymore. Huh? Baby's not in mummy's belly anymore. Look. Is it going to pull out? Yeah. This way? Mm hmm. Yeah. What's her name? Oh, oh, yeah. Well done.